Hey, gang. Uh, this is Pat Topping, back for another, uh, another round of some hot poetry action. Um, took a little absence, but I doubt anybody watches this religiously, so I think, uh, I think I'm okay. Uh, I was just getting settled here at Knox College in Galesburg, Illinois, which is a fantastic school for writers and creative writers, and it's, uh, lovely. So... I'm having a good time, and now I have some alone time so I can film a blog about poetry, so it's not that embarrassing to do in front of other people. So this week I'm going to be reading uh, Because I Could Not Stop for Death by Emily Dickinson. I don't know the exact number of the poem, but that's the first line, and everyone kind of knows that first line. So here, without further ado, um, Because I Could Not Stop for Death by Emily Dickinson. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves in immortality. We slowly drove, he knew no haste. And I had put away my labor and my leisure too for his civility. We passed the school where children strove at recess in the ring. We passed the fields of grazing grain. We passed the setting sun, or rather, he passed us. The dews drew, quivering and chill, for only gossamer, my gown, my tippet only tool. We paused before a house that seemed a swelling of the ground. The roof was scarcely visible, the cornice of, in the ground. Since then, to centuries, and yet feels shorter than the day. I first surmised that horses' heads were tur turned or toward eternity. All right, and this next one is called Crush. Um, and um, so uh, this one is a fall poem. Fall, it's Emily Dickinson. Things are dying. And this one is kind of, oh, I, me, I, me. Uh, emotionally lewd, kind of, I don't know. But I like it all the same. And I'm going to read it because fuck it. You don't have to watch. Um, so here it goes. Crush by Pat Topping. And it's the leaves that fall that get to me. It's fall. And I'm happy and sad at the same time. It's cold and warm inside my lonely cardigan. I'm an old young man. I just want to wrap you up and swallow you. Whoever you are, I, I don't know you because I know that I'm alone. But there's a someone I think somewhere. I walk and crunch and crunch and crunch and the leaves are dead and I'm happy and I'm alone, 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 alone. My life's on loan, that's what I think, that's what I know. The leaves crunch, 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 I'm lonely and alone and I'm mortal. And no one remembers the dead leaves they pass on the street. No one remembers me. And no one will remember me. And to an extent, that is liberating. I don't have shit to live up to. No one expects anything from me, and I smoke a cigarette, maybe ten, maybe a whole pack in one sitting. Maybe I chain-smoke a carton. I want my skin old and wizened and cured. I want to look like a catcher's mitt. I want to dry my skin and crack it and make it appear dead. I want to look like a dead leaf. No one will remember me, and I'm free. To be a dead leaf that no one will remember. Not that I'm morbid, not that I don't like people. I've, I've just never been one for appearances, and I don't make impressions. Maybe one day I'll just blow away to Iowa or Oklahoma, and then I'll get crunched out by some young kid who enjoys crunch, crunch, crunching through the park. Maybe then I'll be just happy. Maybe then I'll be able to restart, and maybe people will realize I'm gone. Not in a big way. Maybe I'll just be a subconscious notion that sits on the tip of their tongues but remains unrelatable. Maybe that's me. If that's me, I, I'm something. Then maybe I'll be something. Maybe maybe even nothing is something. I, I don't know the great truths, though, so don't listen to me. Just pass me by on the street. Maybe kick me a few, to, few feet over into the grass. Maybe pick me up and scrapbook the fuck out of me. Or maybe just crush me. But don't ignore me, it's rude. I may be a leaf, I may be a nothing, 
but I still notice everyone passing happy and laughing and drinking hot drinks with rosy cheeks. What a lonely life to be a dead fall leaf. Especially if you're not a leaf, but a person like me. But maybe I'll get crushed so I don't have to be anything anymore. Okay, I hope that was satisfactory. I hope that filled your thirst for poetry. And um, I'll see you next week around Monday. <laughs> All right, see ya.